What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon White 2 walkthrough. I almost said, Al I almost said Alpha Sapphire. Anywho, in our last episode, uh, yeah, we went through a lot. And I mean a lot. I mean, there was a big old freaking pirate trip, or pirate ship, I should say, flying, literally flying, got a big ass laser d gun, and just blew everything up in ice. Apparently, we're going through the mandatory 7th uh, badge kind of legendary event right here. And, uh, yeah, well, we got to take care of business now. So, let's go straight to Route 11. And as you guys can see, Route 11 is also a victim of, well, Team Plasma's little ice beam and all that crud. So, I'm going to speed through this whole thing. And look at that, Zangoose. Holy crud baskets. I'm going to surf it because, well, it's not going to let me attack it just yet. So, there we go. And... Jeebus criminy, these Pokemon are getting a little stronger. Anywho, as I was saying, yeah, we, we, we went through a lot in the last episode, and <laughs> yeah, we we definitely have to do some more right here. And, uh, well, before we do anything, this Pokemon trainer wants to battle us yet again. So, let's go right ahead and not do that. Let's go switch the Pokemon right here to Magneto and just battle this person right now. Anywho, if you guys notice a little something something about the vocals and uh, the stuff that's going currently going on right now, yeah, you kind of you can kind of say that your boy Draven finally got himself some more materials or some more uh, what was it called? Uh, some new equipment for the vocals and everything, just to make it sound just a little smoother, make it sound better. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go ahead and check my Instagram. Um, yeah, I still use my Instagram. I'm finally getting around to doing it again. Somebody just said, hey, Draven, uh, you need, uh, you need to use your Instagram. You need to be a little bit more active on social media and stuff. And, well, <laughs> I guess you could say that good, good old Draven is, yeah, he's still a little old school, but, you know what, we're gonna get around to it. If you guys haven't caught the episode three of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, yes, I, I showed a reel. That was, like, literally my first reel, uh, in, on YouTube and on on Instagram, so don't worry, guys. I'm gonna be a little more active on all the websites and all that stuff. So, anywho, um, yeah, I got myself some new vocals, some new uh, what was it called? Um, a new material called the Fi Fine uh, mixing setup and all that stuff, and it's what's making you know the 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 vocals here a little crisper, or, or you know just a little bit more crisp when it comes to you know hearing stuff outside of here like right now you guys can't hear the clicking on my controller or anything like that which you know it's like it wasn't a big deal to me but it was still something i'm a little meticulous about that 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 cool that holds stuff right here and well where are we going to now uh we have to go actually i don't know why i'm walking i don't know why i'm like running away let's see hold on oh yeah we can fly holy crud Okay, so we could fly all the way back to Undella Town because, well, that's the next place we need to be. And let's go ahead and grab some, uh, let's go ahead and heal ourselves because, yes, we, we went through a little bit of a, a situation right there. And once you make your way right here, your cross transceiver is going to start going off. And bam, it's your boy, Hugh. And he's like, Draven, where are you? Undella Town? Got it. From there, go through the marine tube and come straight to Humalau, uh, Humalau City. Oh, well, it looks like it's finally time for us to go to something else. If you guys don't know, here is the marine tube. We walk through an aquarium. This thing is going to be pretty badass. And, I, you know, I've been wanting to see this for quite some time right here. Uh, initially, we couldn't go here. This guy, you know, was repairing stuff. The Marine Tube. It's an undersea tunnel, so to speak, or so to speak. Do you know how uh, how such tunnels are made? It's quite simple. They're built on land and then sunk into the sea. Without Pokemon, the construction would have been impossible. That is true. There are some Pokemon that can go undersea just to fix this up. Now, wow. Wow. Okay, so good job. And, whoa, is that a Basculin? Holy crud. Oh, my God. This is pretty awesome right here, guys, because, you know, I've never been here before. Literally have never been here before. And thankfully, we got some very, very good graphics on the Disc Mimic uh, app. So, 
Oh my god, nothing- well, everything here doesn't look so pixelated. And what other Pokemon can we find here? Hold on, I gotta- I gotta go backwards. That's a jellyfish. Wow, okay. So let's see. Rain Dance is a move to, uh, to use with a feeling of yearning. As for when to use it, huh. What's wrong with me? I can't think uh, of any gripping ideas. With a condition like this, I can't explain it well on TV. I mean, with an electric type, you can use it to never miss on thunder. Water types, you know, just to power them up. And oh my lord, look at that. Okay, that's gonna be, that's definitely gonna be the thumbnail. Holy crud. This is pretty cool, guys. I, I have never been here before. And wow. Wow, I can stay here all day just watching all the Pokemon right here. They really did a good job of this. And <laughs> this lady's like, or this guy's like, wow, it's an ocean trench. So deep. Maybe six miles deep. Yeah. And these are jealousies, I, I, I think. What if we speed it up and see if, if see if any other Pokemon come through here? Hmm. That's a Basculin. There's nothing else, and it looks like today. It looks like right now we got some bas uh, some jellicents and stuff. Holy crud! I'm just looking through. Man, again, aquarium. This aquarium right here is pretty cool. Right here, look at that. Okay, that no, that's gonna be my thumbnail. Holy buckets! Okay, so moving on forward right here, guys. I'm just amazed. And if you talk to this lady right here, let's see. Does your Pokemon have a poison poison barb? I I think I have a poison barb somewhere, but. Okay, what if I turned around? Nothing. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, this place is like a walkthrough aquarium, but it isn't this a place for Pokemon to, uh, to see us? Or for us to see them? I don't know. Huh. This is pretty awesome. This is very awesome right here, guys. Anywho. Man. Okay. Alrighty. So, that was pretty cool right there. And then, let's see. My parasol is full of TMs. Would you like one? Here we get ourselves the TM42, which is facade. And, well, facade is when the user's poison paralyzed or burned. It's, it's attack uh, power is doubled, which is great. Now, let's see this. I want to see this. Uh, explain some marine tube. And, wow. Okay. So, the marine tube is an undersea tunnel built to commemorate the friendship between Undela and Humalao City. It is made of hardened glass, 9.8 inches thick, which is which can withstand high water, high water pressure in contact with huge Pokemon. The marine tube was built using the best technology in Unova. Please walk through and, and contemplate the underwater scenery. I did. I literally did, because holy crud. That's pretty awesome right there. Anywho, here we are in Humalau City. First time ever, and this is a face board. Okay, so... Let's see. Oh, it looks like there is a gym right here. This is the Himalaya City Gym, and the gym leader is Marlin, who is a water-type trainer. Now, a good old buddy, Hugh, is right here waiting for us. He's like, we'll get the DNA splicers back for sure. So you should focus on defeating the gym leader first. I'll do that, I'll do that right afterwards. So let's see, talk to this guy. Oh, are you taking on the gym leader? But you can't, uh, but can you find uh, old Marlin? He does whatever he wants. Huh. Okay, so it looks like to us, we're going to have to find Marlin right here, and, well, look at this. This place is... Okay, I, okay, this place right here is it's pretty legit. Like, let's see. If we surf on this... Talk to her. When I float between the waves like this, I am like a mermaid. Now, that's what I think of, uh... That's what I think of it. There was a tomboyish mermaid can't, uh, gym leader in Kanto. That right there is the other girlfriend. And can we use this? I want to use this. We can't use this. Good God. Okay. So, let's see. Is there anything else? Let's just go ahead and just move on right here. And continue on with our little adventure right here. So, ah, the weather's a great day today, too. I wonder how many days have passed since I came here on my vacation. Spending every day in such abundance makes my brain a little mushy. I wonder if there there will be an event that will stimulate me a little. And here we have the memory training. It was added into the intellect, interlink, I should say. Um, too bad I'm not going to use that. Now, again, I'm visiting everything, and this guy has like a see-through bottom portion right here. And this guy's going to be like, hey, 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 do you know that I'm uh, the Pokemon called Mantine? 
if you have one, can you trade it? For, uh, can you trade my or if you have one, trade my tan growth or tangy growth or whatever its name is for a mantine? I don't have a mantine, but a tangy growth is pretty good. And let's see, what about this person? I've come to give fashion tips to my boyfriend. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, <laughs> I once had a metal phase where I was only dressed up in the finest Slipknot, uh, Slipknot gear and everything. And no, there's nothing right here. What if we uh, continue on and see what we, what else we got? Like, there's a Pokeball right there. Probably should go over there and, and, and see what, what it's all about. So, look at this. I wonder if any of these Pokemon want to battle or Pokemon trainers want to battle. So, let's go ahead and surf and talk to this person. Do you know... Do you know about the Seaside Cave? If you have the HM Surf, go down to Route 21, you'll find the cave there. If you go through it, you'll reach Undela Town. Hmm. True. Okay. Again, a lot of these things that I'm doing right now, guys, first time ever. Literally the first time ever. And whoa! This guy right here is like, Sub, you must be here to challenge the Pokemon Gym. I'm the gym leader, Marlin. Sorry to make you look for me, yo. I was swimming with the Pokemon and it felt real good, so I kept going and going. I'll be waiting at the gym, okay? Alright, so to me it sounds like he's a water type trainer and... Well, before we do anything, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. I'm the Master Move Tutor. I'm also obsessed with Yellow Shards. Give me Yellow Shards and I'll thank you by teaching your Pokemon a move. Okay, and... It looks like I do have uh, Yellow Shards. But it kind of, like most of these moves comes at a cost. Like literally, the best moves are ten shards, and I don't know where to where else to find these shards right here. So look at that. Okay, so never mind. I'm just gonna move on right here. Talk to this guy. Hey trainer, the move I recommend for you is none other than the heal bell. Heal bell can uh, heal statuses status conditions of its ally. It's a loving move to heal status conditions of all the party Pokemon. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, let's see. Look at the... You can see the seafloor right there. That is pretty awesome. Controlling the ocean, nature, is not possible. People in Pokemon have to figure out how to live with nature. Well, try telling that to Team... Uh, team... Uh, what was it called? Magma and Aqua. And, well, let's see. The flat part of Stungfish is a very charming, isn't it? Huh. If you sleep on a Stungfish, its electricity relaxes the body. True. Is it true? Or does it bite you? I don't even know. I'm going to grab that Pokeball because it's been looking at me since I got here. Let's go ahead and grab this. Here we found ourselves a hard scale, which, you know, I think you can use to teach people poke or teach Pokemon moves. And this dress is comfy and easy to wear. Hmm. All right, so let's see. Let's go ahead and surf this right here. And I guess we're trapped because there's a Pokeball right there. I'm probably not going to leave until I get that Pokeball, so let's see. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's see. Not there. Um, hmm. We can go right here. And okay, so the Pokeball is going to be right here. And here we get ourselves a protein, which is great. And, well, let's go right in here and see what this is all about. Now, there is a person with a mind shower, mind foo. Hey, you! Would you walk with my mind foo, my dear mind foo? Sure. Oh, my, you're very understanding. Wonderful. Please walk a lot with my cute mind foo. But please don't go out of this house. It's dangerous outside. All right, take good care of my mind foo. So, we're walking with mind foo. Huh. Look at that. We're running around with mind foo. This guy just follows us. So, we're going to go every square inch of this place right here and what ends up happening you just started walking please walk more what you're not going to say you will quit in the middle of walking my cute mindful are you no okay so i guess we're gonna have to walk until this guy is satisfied so let's go ahead and speed this up speed button usually works and hey you what are you doing I can understand very well that my mind view is so cute, but I, if you want to take it out, but you don't have to do that, it's dangerous outside. Will you take responsibility if my mind view gets hurt? Please walk inside the room. Wow, she is... She is not happy right here, and well, let's see. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna have to walk around, so... I'll be right back with you once I'm done. Okay, so we kind of failed that. 
Anywho, let's go. Let's go ahead and continue on right here. So here we are in Route 22, and that kind of looks like uh, an area where we need to battle some Pokemon trainers. Because yes, we do need some Pokemon battles. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle some trainers with some very, very strong Pokemon. Like Starmie right here, because, well, Starmie is a very strong Pokemon. And here comes the Swift attack. Not so effective against Magneto. And, well, another Swift doesn't really do much. So Magneto yet again for the win. That's how you do it. And Magneto grows to level 43. And here comes Drapion. If I remember, if I remember correctly, let's go straight to Gigalith right here. And Drapion... Yes, I got that correctly. So, either or, I'm going to beat this Pokemon. And... Yeah, how in the hell did... How in the hell did that Pokemon just... Okay, that is one strong Pokemon. I am not happy about it. So, let's go straight to Big Booty Buckus. And Big Booty Buckus, do the move that made you famous around... Well, 12 continents right here. There's no such thing as 12 continents, but you know what I mean. And, well, there we go. We got more points right there, so... Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's go ahead and, uh, heal up our Pokemon because, well, we need, a uh, we, we, yeah, we got a Pokemon that fainted, and, let's see. Where, oh, where did I leave? Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, so, got quite a few revives right here. So, like I said before, guys, this is going to be the first time I'm ever going to be facing the gym leader of, uh, Humalau City, and, uh, <laughs> it's quite interesting. Very, very interesting, and... Well, it looks like to me this is this is a place that we need to go to in the next episode. So, let's go right ahead and move on by. So, I'm going to fast forward to the Pokemon Center and then straight into the Pokemon Gym. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so as we were going to the Pokemon Center, we found ourselves a Shell Bell, which is very, very useful. Especially when uh, I think we already have one, so... Yeah, how in the heck are we supposed to get out of here? So I'll be, again, I'll be right back, guys. Alrighty, so we're back, and, well, there's, yeah, there really isn't a lot to explain right here, because, well, Human Lost City, Calm and Sparkling Seas, we need to get to the Pokemon Gym, so let's go straight to the Pokemon Gym and uh, finish this off. Wow. It sounds very calm in here, very calm and deceptive. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, this gym, may, this gym may feel like a resort, but the gym leader's no picnic. This is a prison from me. Please focus and prepare. And there we go, guys. We get ourselves a fresh water, which, you know, the only man that's ever believed in us. So this guy is saying that the guy, the gym leader right here, is a water-type Pokemon trainer. Water-type Pokemon really don't like electric or grass moves, but I'm sure the gym leader has, uh, has planned for that. Yes, they always find something, and, well, like I said, guys, holy crud, it is very, very calm in here. And what we have to do is we have to go into the lily pads and, you know, move on ahead right here. So, first time for everything, let's go right ahead and start off with Shedar first. And, well, let's see, summary... Okay, so, we'll be fine. Anywho, let's go ahead and battle somebody right here. Hmm... How do you like the writing the leaves? If you manage to beat me, I'll teach you something good. You'll see. Okay, alrighty. So let's go ahead and speed this up, taking on Ace Trainer Doyle, and he's gonna be coming out with a float cell. And well, let's go with a high jump kick. Aqua Tail starts it off, and bam. That really hits float cell pretty hard. So let's go with the brick break. And that puts us in the red, but float cell has been defeated. And here comes a Mantine. Now, I, I would love to... I would, li I would like to take on uh, Mantine, right, Mantine right here with Shadar, but nope. Still a Flying-type Pokemon. Do not want to risk it. So here comes Charge Beam. Quad damage. And... Well, there goes a Speed... Or there goes a Speed Rate attack. So, there we go. Charge Beam yet again. And just like that, we win. Okay. So, let's see. What are you going to teach me? When two, le when two leaves collide, the leaf that was moving is stopped, and the leaf that got struck begins moving. And that right there... Okay, so that I get, I get what they're trying to say right here. So, let's see. Let's go ahead and use a Hyper Potion onto this guy right here. And continue our little adventure through this whole place. So, if you go right here, we're going to be facing another person. And, well, here comes Melina, coming out with a, a Loma Mo Momola. 
That is a long, long word, so high jump kick. And that soak attack makes us into a water type Pokemon, so that won't work at all. So let's go ahead and switch it up to Magneto, the secret weapon right here. And here comes a wish attack. That right there makes me a little uneasy. Makes me feel a little uneasy. And that increases our special attack, so we're gonna keep on spamming this whole thing. We're not trying to affect its status. We're just gonna straight up destroy everybody. And Loma Momomola has been defeated. Yes. The way I, the reason why I say that is just it's just me. So let's go right here and Huh. Okay, so I guess we've Okay, so we've made a bridge going back if we need some help, so there we go. And speaking of bridges, look at that. We found a bridge again. I'm pretty sure down the road there's going to be like a question. How many bridges have you crossed in total? And people are not going to remember this one right here. So let's see. Going to the next person right here. If we go right here. We're going to float away from this guy. And that won't lead us anywhere. Except for that, that girl right there. So... Let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go straight for Gigalith itself and start beating everybody. Yes, the, 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 the whatchamacallit, the speed button is always working. And here comes Ace Trainer Janine. And it's Battle of Flying type Pokemon right here. So let's go with an Air Slash. And here comes a Stockpile Attack, which will increase its special defense. So Air Slash yet again will do something. And here comes a Swallow. And, well, let's go ahead the Psychic Attack. And just like that, we have defeated Pelipper. Here comes Wailord. This is a first time taking on a Wailord or having an individual with a Wailord. Look at this. Wailord just looks gigantic. So here we go. Charge Beam Attack. And this Pokemon is tanky. Very, very tanky, but a Charge Beam for the win. And that's how you do that. Sign of the Torrent grows to level 47. And yes, we are cooking. Literally cooking right here. So, uh, what if we jump on this little lily pad right here? And... Okay, so... I guess we're getting closer and closer to the individual. And... Okay, so we can battle him. And see what ends up happening. So here comes Enzio. I think that's what his name is. Enzio. And going straight for a psychic attack. Another Psychic Attack, and that right there wins us a match. Level 45, and here comes a Basculus. Basculin, I should say. So here we go, Shedder. Let's do it. Okay, he looks like a Mask Wrestler and stuff. So here we go, Strength Attack, and that will make us into Water-type yet again. So high Jump Kick. And that wins us another match. And there goes Shedder with level 43 power. Let's continue on right here, taking on his Zoomerol. Since we do have a boost, and here comes the Rain Dance, so, you know, we're a Water-type Pokemon now. That would actually increase, you know, that would in actually increase us, but we don't have a Water-type move or anything like that, so. Anywho, let's see, if we talk to this guy, I may have been the one to lose, but I'm still going ahead and say it. You definitely seek a style, but everyone has his or her style. Okay, so, let's see. What if, uh, huh, so this is where it gets confusing right here, so jump down the middle, and we can't go through the side right here, alright, let's see, what if we, so it looks like good old Draven has to figure things out right here, and let's see, what if, go like this, okay, so, let's see, if we go right here, this one will bring us back right here. Okay, so this is going to get a little confusing because we still haven't battled that individual. And, well, let's see. If you talk to her, let's see what she says. Stop moving, god dang it. Let's see. Riding on a, a beloved Pokemon and thinking about things is so nice that you'll find to come up with... Okay, never mind. I'm not even going to do it. You can't surf in here, which is annoying. And... Well, it looks like to me we can go right here. And that one will lead us right there. Oh, there's another lily pad. Huh. I didn't even see that. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. Um. Actually. Huh. 
Hmm, okay, I see what I, I see what's going on here. Let's see, let's see. What else can we do? We can't ride around here. This guy is making it so ridiculously hard for me. Alright, um we have to go across the across the lily pad right here. And go right here. Gotcha. Alright, let's battle him. Yeah, it took me a while, guys. Again, this is like my first time. My little my little first time battling everybody right here. And her name is Sable, god dang it. Her name is Sable, a wrestler's name. And let's see, here we go. Another air slash attack does it. And Starmie's gonna be coming out. We do not want to mess with that, so let's go with Magneto. Because he is so Nito. And well, Volt Switch. Gonna confuse us, and wow, we're gonna get hurt just like that. So Think well, thankfully for our defense, we're not going to be defeated anytime soon right here. And come on, there we go. Volt switch nearly for the win. And we're going to be switching it out to Desert Storm right here since it's the fresher Pokemon. And let's go straight for a Dragon's Breath attack right here. And are you serious? Come on. Man, Desert Storm. Desert Storm number two is just shooting the bread. <laughs> and, well... There we go, we won. Okay. Yeah, I do have a lot of strength. Anywho, let's move on forward right here. So we moved the lily pad, and we haven't beaten this guy. Or yeah, we have. Okay, so... Hmm. If we go right here, and go right here, bam, okay, so... We have finally reached the gym leader, and like I said, this is going to be the very, very first time battling all these guys right here. So let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because we are we are very good trainers like this. And bring it on, Marlin. What's up? Here already, huh? You look strong. Shoot. Let's start. So here it is, guys. Back-to-back -back episodes. This time, we're taking on the final gym leader of Pokemon Black and White's 2, Unova. Gym leader, yeah. Gym leader Marlin. And he is going to be coming out with a Caracosta. This Pokemon right here is a very, very, very defensive Pokemon. So we're at, we're kind of at a disadvantage. Let's go with the Reflect attack right here. And here comes the Shell Smash. Its defense have gone down. And that is a big mistake because that right there is going to mess with you just a little bit more. And here comes Scald. That... Oh, wow. Okay, so... Of course, we get screwed over by that. So, now we're gonna have to go with Shadar. And... Let's go with a Brick Break right here. And, wow. Holy buckets. This Pokemon is getting a jump on us. And just like that, we increase a little bit of speed. We go to level 48 for Sigh of the Torrent. And two Pokemon down. Wow, this is like two birds, one stone. So we're going to have to go with Magneto right here. All right, bring it on, Waylord. There we go. Charge Beam attack. And this will increase our special right here. And here comes a bounce attack. So let's see. Hmm. It's using a bounce attack. It's not really going to affect me. So this is what I need to do because I see this playing out just a little bit. So let's go with an Ether. Give this to Magneto for Charge Beam. And there we go. Bounce attack hits us. Not effective. That Reflect attack really helped us out just a little bit more. And here comes a Charge Beam for the win. Oh, yes. We are powered up. And here comes level 44 for Magneto. And here comes Jellicent. Okay. Here we have the male version of the Jellicent. And he has him at level 51. Bring it on. Okay. So here comes the Scald attack. Please do not get burned because I'm just I'm gonna figure out I'm gonna try to figure out a way how to Okay here we go. Scald again is a move that we are just messing with right now. And we are three times powered up. And Scald has just been Yeah, Scald has just been messing with us. So here we go, giving a hyper potion to Magneto. Do not want to lose out on that whole three times uh what was it called? Uh three times a special attack so here comes a scald attack and there we go charge beam for the win suck it jellicent how's it feel to fail suck it 
like I said before, guys, uh, this 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 whole mixture thing is pretty awesome. I just press the button and bam, automatically it says it. So <laughs> don't worry, I'm gonna change that up. Anywho, Marlon's gonna be like, "You don't look strong. You're strong for reals." Hey, I was swept away too. Oh yeah, yo, I, I was so surprised that I forgot. I gotta give you this too. And here it is, guys, the newest badge. I don't know what badge this is because, well, I've never played this game. I'm a little, I'm a little too late to the party, but it's better late than never, right? And here we get ourselves the wave badge. So the wave badge is the Unova region's newest gym badge. Pretty sweet, huh? Now you got all eight badges, so you can uh, be tight with any Pokemon. Oh yeah, got this TM for you too. And here we get ourselves the TM55 Scald, which took out two of my Pokemon. Literally two Pokemon after, you know, defeating his Pokemon and all that stuff. So he's like, so Scald sometimes burns the target, okay? Oh, and you could even you you could even use it when you're all frozen and chilling and stuff. Shoots! I'm off then to in hopes of uh, to be hopes to be useful and all that stuff. And well, this guy right here is uh He's probably like the most active. Yeah, like he's probably the most active gym leader I've ever seen. Wow. And I've seen some gym leaders in my day. Anywho, we're flowing right back. Yeah, buddy. Eight badges. Finally, after two, well, almost two years right here. And the only man that's ever believed in us. He's like, Marlon's swimming around, isn't he? Yes, he's, he's swimming around somewhere. He's very unpredictable and all that crud. So, after defeating the gym leader. Our good old buddy Hugh is going to be like, You got all of the badges! You're really something! Usually, you'd go to the Pokemon League now, but dealing with Team Plasma comes first! And, wow, Marlin just pops out of nowhere. Sup, yo! What's this Team Plasma you're talking about, though? Uh, Team Plasma th uh, does things like steal my sister's, uh, I mean, people's Pokemon. They plan on conquering Unova by using Pokemon to freeze its solid. They're really evil! Haven't you heard of them, Marlin? Nope. When it comes, uh, when the ocean's your home, you don't really worry about things like that. Because the ocean accepts all rivers. So, you think Team Plasma's bad then? Uh, I'm gonna go with yes. I get it. They're bad, so you fight them. But first, you gotta get, you gotta say what, what's in your own words. When you do, you'll understand better what you, what you want to do. And that's where, what we're hoping for. Hmm. Well then. Man, I don't know if that guy is is laid back or just irresponsible. That's kind of got me down. But our opponent is Team Plasma. We have to focus, but before that, we have to find where they are. Okay, we'll split up. You check Route one, uh, route, route 22. Got it? Okay, so it looks like Route 22 it is. Anywho, guys, um, let's go right ahead and take a look at this badge, badge case. It's about damn time. Look at this. Look at that sexy me right here and if we flip this over uh yeah we started about a year ago guys it's about dang time let's go straight to the badges and mm, 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 mm. all eight badges and to think i was about to quit this walkthrough anywho guys this has been it it has been a very very good episode many of you guys have been asking for a little bit more and i hope uh the quality of uh you know the vocals right here is a little bit better comment down below on what you guys think Especially with this new setup. Um, later on, probably like on Instagram or right here, I'm just gonna post up like what what how my setup looks like. That way, those who are set like are, are wanting to get into YouTube and all that stuff want to know. Well, here it is. Anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fight Two walkthrough. I almost said Unova Two. <laughs> I'll see you guys.